lovely salamis. Naked Zombo here. In this video, we're going to be reliving the best moments of our friend Ricky. Let's get to it. Is there like a party going on inside of this tree or something? What is going on? Wait. That oh no, this is not him again, dude. What is he up to this time? Hey, Ricky, <laughs> what's going on, dude? What are you doing this time? You sure do look enlightened, I guess. Ricky, you surprise me every single time I see you, dude. I do not know what to expect from you. Well, Ricky, I'm guessing you have something for us to use in today's stealth mission. Oh. And there it is. All right, well, what does Ricky have for us? Let's see. Bubblegum arrow. An arrow made use to slow down your target. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's put it in this bow. Okay, um, now we just need a target to use it. Oh, shoot! <gasps> Ricky, I'm sorry! <laughs> I did not mean to do that, dude! Ricky, what is happening? Ricky! Ricky, are you okay, dude? Oh, Oh, no. Ricky, I'm so sorry, dude. Did I mess up your meditation session? Sorry. And I found these little rare flowers growing out of the ground. Now, they look delicious and very nutritious, but I don't know if they're poisonous, guys. Don't eat flowers, strange flowers, or berries you find just anywhere, okay? They could be poisonous, but they sure do look delicious. And I'm not going to test them out on myself, you know? That's just a bad idea. So I had my friend Ricky here come over to test them for me. Voluntarily, of course. Right, Ricky? You volunteered for this? He did. He's just a little bit discombobulated. So we're going to feed Ricky here some rare flowers and uh, let's see what happens. It sure does look like they're full of nutrition. And Ricky here uh, looks like he hasn't eaten in days or everything that he has eaten has gone to his head. His proportions are way off. So Ricky, I'm here to feed you, dude. You need some food in you. All right. So first, Ricky, I need to knock you out. Close your eyes, Ricky. Don't look. <laughs> oh, shoot. You see, you see his body? Do you just fly? Everything I do for you, Ricky, is in the name of love. I'll even draw you a nice little picture here. There you go. There's a heart for you. That means love. That's my love for you, Ricky. Wait, what's all this noise out here? What the heck? Where'd all these alpha carnos come from? Looks like friendly alpha carnos. That's a rare sight to see. All right, let me feed you here, Ricky. I know you're hungry. There we go. All right, let's get out of here and observe from a distance. Wait, what? what? Ricky, no! R Ricky, no! This wasn't supposed to happen. What is this, dude? Okay, um, rip Ricky. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, okay, it's just Ricky taking a little cat nap. I think I have an idea. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, this sure took me a long time, but check it out. Ha! <laughs> Look at this. He's surrounded by, I don't know, two or three hundred bear traps. I don't think there's any possible way for Ricky to get out of here. But first, we got to wake him up. Hey, Ricky. Time to get up, dude. Ricky. Ricky, wake up. Hello, Ricky. Wake up. Ah, ah. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> dude, he looks so confused. Poor Ricky. Okay, it looks like he's going to try and jump. Let's see if he can make it. You can do it, Ricky. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, dude. I was just kidding, by the way, Ricky. I, I totally did not think you would make it. Here, I'll help you out the best way I know how. Rip Ricky. I guess we'll have to pull up. Hello there. I think your intercom isn't... Hey, is that Ricky? Ricky, it's you, dude. What's up, dog? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, don't mind me. My car is just slowly moving away from you. Here, let me get closer so you can hear me. So this is what you do on Sundays, Ricky. I had no idea. You're actually just the person I'm looking for. I'm looking for a special item that I could use in today's stealth mission. Can you hook me up, Ricky? Oh, what's this? A primitive unclaimed dodo? Ricky, how on earth is a dodo supposed to help me in epic stealth raids, dude? Wait, you're saying I can ride it? Here, let me try. Wait, what? Ricky, what have you done? Ricky, you are a madman, dude. Ricky just actually turned me into a dodo. I can sprint. I can jump. Dude, I can do so much with this. Oh, wait, I can even spit out dodo babies. Dude, we are going to have some fun with this. Ricky, what are you cooking up in the back of that fast food joint? Ricky, you've definitely outdone yourself here, man. I don't know what I'd do without you. Wait, what's that? You can't hear me. All right, hold up, Ricky. Let me get closer. I said... Uh oh I said you're awesome and I don't know what I'd do without you. You know you can't have sweets, Ricky. Give me that. And there we go. Stop staring at me. I don't like it. Wait, Ricky, is that you? Were you in that? <laughs> Ricky, seriously, dude, you got to stop that. That's It's starting to scare me how you pop out like that. Ricky, how were you inside that seagull? It, what were you doing inside of it? Oh, Ricky dropped something. Let's see what it is. It's called a primitive unclaimed seagull. Interesting. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Okay, it popped out a seagull. 
And wait, we can ride it? I don't think you can normally ride these things. Oh, dude. I have now become a seagull. I've always wanted to become a seagull. They're one of the most annoying creatures in Ark. And we are now one of them. Okay, now the question is, what can we do as a seagull? Can we steal stuff? Here, let's see. Let's hit Ricky. <gasps> Dude, we just stole 100 bingleberry soup. See, look, it's in our inventory. Dude, this is awesome. All right, can we do anything else? Let's see. <gasps> I just, I just picked up Ricky, dude. <laughs> Hang on, Ricky, dude. We're going high. Oh, hey, uh, I, I think... Oh, there goes Ricky. <laughs> Before we continue on to our favorite Ricky moments, I want you to come join our community Dead Deli server. This is where all the cool kids are hanging out. We have our very own ARK survival server. All the information on how to join is in our Discord. And we are preparing for ARK 2 servers. So if you want any more information on that, be sure to join. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Let's continue. Okay, now that we have the oil jars and wooden cages, now... Now we need a victim. Oh wait, ooh, there's Ricky. What's he doing? Oh, it looks like he's doing what he usually does. Staring into a mirror, probably having a deep conversation with himself. He's just probably questioning himself about his life decisions and why he's here. You know, no problem. So while he's doing that, let's move up on him. We gotta be careful though. I don't want him seeing the reflection of me on the mirror. All right, so when we're close enough on our victim, we'll pull out our oil jars and we'll throw it at our victim. There we go, he's trapped. Now let's pull out a cage and place it, place it like, <clears throat> Ricky, move back a little. Or not. Okay, I guess I can't put it there. Okay, so it looks like I can't place cages over on top of people on this map or something. I don't know what it is. But I know it works on our server. So uh, just pretend like I placed the cage on Ricky here and he's trapped, okay? And if you guys don't know what the oil jars do, they basically just slow you down for a couple of seconds. So when the victim's little feeties are covered in oil, that's when I place a cage right over them. You know, you know when it will actually work. And then when they're stuck in a cage with oil underneath them, I may just accidentally drop a torch. I don't know, maybe? It might just slip out of my hands. I'm not so sure how anybody can get inside of this thing. Like, what is this for, dude? Hello? Is anybody in there? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Ricky! Is that you, dude? Yep, that's, that is Ricky. That's such a Ricky thing to do. Ricky, so how did you get inside of here, bro? Oh, wait. What's this? Wait, I, I've never seen this thing before. It's called the Primitive Yeetus Deletus 3000. What? Point and click. We'll destroy all types of structures and creatures with one hit. Tamed, untamed, your own structures and other tribe structures? Dude, no way this works. Here, let's test it out. Okay, so I want to destroy this metal wall. No way, dude! Dude, we can do so much stuff with this! Yo, Ricky, this is dope, dude. This is one of the coolest things you've ever brought me. Yo, Ricky, this is awesome, dude. I don't know what I would do without you, bro. Oh, shoot! Ricky! Well, <laughs> there goes Ricky. Uh-oh. Ricky C is a wild unicorn. He's got to tame it. It's one of the most rarest creatures in the lands. He's coming. And while he's examining, you just give him a little kickback just like, oh, dude. And it's that easy. Ricky here is going to hook us up with a little outfit. You guys probably didn't know this, but Ricky is a top tier makeup artist. And seeing as though this month is spooky month, we're going to see if Ricky can hook us up with a little costume we could use in today's stealth mission. Hook me up, Ricky. All right, here we are. Oh, heck yeah, Ricky. I like this. Looks like Ricky hooked us up with the Joker outfit and even gave us some weapons that go with it. Nice. We got a harpoon gun, spyglass, a club, a slingshot, narcotic traps, bear traps. I'm sure I could do something with this. Thanks a lot, Ricky. I don't know what I'd do without you. We are going to be using whatever comes out of Ricky's body. Okay, Ricky. So give it to us, dude. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see what it is. Thank you, Ricky. What did you have in your body? Oh, wait, it was a boomerang. Ricky, how did you have that in your body? Okay, so I guess we're going to be using a boomerang in today's stealth mission. All right, so let's give it a little test. Let's see how this thing works. So the key feature with boomerangs is that they supposedly come back to you. So we throw it, give it a good throw, and uh, here it comes right to us. Heck yeah, dude, okay. So what if we throw it at the ground, what happens? It comes right back at us, awesome. Okay, so let's try this, let's open this door. There we go, okay. So let's throw it, and then close the door real quick, and get in off that, will it come back to us? Dude, it can go through freaking walls, dog. This thing is magic. Okay, now let's see how this thing does when it actually hits somebody. Will it knock them out in one hit? Well, let's see. All right, Ricky, you ready, dude? He's ready. Let her rip. Oh, dude. Boomerang straight to the forehead. Knocked him out in one hit. You all right with that, Ricky? So there we go, guys. The boomerang. It, it'll it knock people out in one hit. If you hit him in the forehead, that is. Now, what if we're close range and we want to give him a little strike to the back of the head? Let's see. Bam. Oh, 
Okay, uh, he's gonna need a little more than one hit. Two hits, there we go. <laughs> you're, there, you're all right there, Ricky? He's okay. Now, I've never tried this out before, so I don't know how safe it is. So in situations like this, I'm gonna have Ricky try it out first. Now, you guys may not know this about Ricky, but he loves raw salt. So let's just throw that in there. There we go. Come get it, Ricky. There we go. There he is. Oh yeah, and Ricky also lives in the ocean. <laughs> All right, Ricky, now that you're here, I have something for you I want you to try out. Here you go. All right, Ricky, just consume that and let's see what happens. Okay, it's been a couple minutes since Ricky ate that big head burger. Let's see if it actually worked. So let's just turn around and... Oh, shoot, Ricky! Your head! It's so much bigger than it usually is. Ricky, how are you even holding your head up right now? It's bigger than your body. This is insane. Well, I'm not seeing any bad side effects, so I guess it's okay for me to eat now. So let's just do that. All right, let's just go ahead and take a look in the mirror and see if this thing... Whoa, my God, dude. My head's almost too big to fit inside of this mirror. Okay, well, that worked. Now, this is just going to give us so much of an advantage in our stealth missions. This may just be a bit overpowered. Whoa, watch yourself there, Ricky. Your head's a bit too top heavy. You don't want to stand too close to that. Oh, shoot. No, I did not mean to do that. No, Ricky. These waters are full of piranhas. I told him. Hey, you can't say I didn't warn him. You know what, Ricky? I feel like I haven't been treating you the way you should be treated. So you know what? I'm going to let you use these on me to show you how much I really appreciate you. Yeah, those look good on you, dude. Just, you know, take it easy on me, Ricky. You know I'm a fragile person. In this corner, we have the one and only the Dark Assassin. And in that corner over there, we have Ricky the Relentless. All right, Ricky, I'm ready. Hit me with your best shot, dude. Here you go. What? Ricky! Where you going, dude? Dude! Yo, Ricky, come back! So, guys, I woke up in the Dark Assassin training area to find this. A bunch of rugs on top of these metal foundations, and I have no idea why the- <gasps> Wait, I guys, are you seeing this right now? What, what is happening? Is that a jumping rug? Wait, what is going on here? I don't know, but I don't like it. Die, jumping rug! Die! Wait, it, that is not who I think it is. Ricky, were you in that jumping rug? Ricky, you gotta stop surprising me like this, dude. Someday I'm just gonna kill you on accident. But Ricky, you gotta tell me, dude, how were you inside of that rug? Wait, what is this? Ricky just dropped this primitive unclaimed rug. What is this? Wait, what? Wait, I can ride it? Dude, no freaking way! I'm a freaking rug, dude! Look at me! I've always wanted to be a rug. <laughs> Now, Dark Assassins, we can do a lot of things with this. This is going to be great for our stealth missions. Ricky, you always make my wildest dreams come true. 